It's a Hoover. Your name is David Hoover. Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please go to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me. Get away. Now calm down, miss. Let's get you back into bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take care. Uh, take good care of her. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? Mom? Your fight school exam are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always want, has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom! It's me! Remember Mom! David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But, but she said my- I said leave! <laughs> oh. Mrs. Hoover, please calm down. Bring this in. Oh. Oh. That's depressing. Oh, hey, Doc. What's up? Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. <sighs> Sorry. <I'm> tired. <laughs> Yeah, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She won't- well, blah. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Jesus, it's dark already? Oh, that's my room. Ugh. I don't like that sound. Um, an empty trash can. An old computer. Dude, this moved. This, that thing right there. That thing right there just moved. That is a chair. It moved. Okay? No? You don't care? Alright, whatever. Go to sleep. You're not gonna go to sleep? No? Okay, fine. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Sink? A sink. Stove? A stove. Uh, do you want something to eat? No? Cupboards? Tissue? You wanna cry? You can cry. David, this, this thing right here? It moved. Don't move, David. Do you not care? Ah, there we go. God fucking damn it. <sighs> Did I move that chair? Hmm? There's something in the drawer. What is it? Uh, got a leaflet for a school. Okay. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody just shooting, uh, shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be a former tenant. Uh, he sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better th uh, after all, huh? Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hey David, how are you doing? <laughs> you saw me just yesterday. I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Uh, call if you ever get lonely, okay? By the way, I got a cell, uh, uh, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... Sorry, I told her your number. She said she was worried, so worried about you. It's okay, tell her I don't need her to worry. She said she should just look out for herself. Alright. Well, I hang up now. Alright, see you. Dots. Sleep time? Sleep time. No? Oh, okay. You're gonna eat or something? I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Okay. Another TV. 
yep. Why did why did it turn on, turn on by itself? Is it broken? Sink. Gah. It's a sink. What? That is creepy. What did it say? Sink? What was that? Let's go to the sink. Ooh, there's a scrap of paper under there. Got a scrap of paper. There was a crooked man and a crooked he and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. Yes, we just read this. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is why is this here? Under the sink. I guess the previous tenant? You just blame everything on the previous tenant, man. This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. Sleep. Ah, moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Mary's help, but... And then he falls asleep. Is that a kid now I hear? Ah, uh, is that a kid I hear? God damn it. <laughs> what kid would live in this beat up apartment? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. You you're sleep You're sleeping, man. What was that crack? Is it in here? Is it in here? No? Oh, yes. Just a broken cup. Jeez, that's not only wait, what? Help me. The coffee says, you gotta be. This room is really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? It's called a haunting, good sir. Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Uh, yeah. Um, was up all, uh, was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is that okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Uh, nah. I don't know. You lost the landlady? You curious about something? Well, it seems like you forgot a lot of stuff. But I'll ask the landlady. Sure. Later. The landlady is on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Okay. I'm telling you that apartment is haunted. Why are you living there? There's another crack in the wall. Hello. Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask something, you see. About the room I'm in. Can you tell me about anything about the person who used to live in there? Hmm. Well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was, he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago. Said to leave the furniture and use it however. You wouldn't know where he went? I never heard that, no. Uh, usually just up and left out of the blue. I can't remember that name. I can remember to do my documents to find the previous tenant, if you'd like. Oh, uh, no, no. There was no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks, I'll see you around. Alright, sorry I wasn't useful. Wasn't very useful. Eh, 
I think you're pretty useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh, well, I'll get back to my room. I want to look at this flower. Oh. The withering. That's not good. They need more water. What about you? Are you withering? It doesn't say. Oh. David, there's the crack in your wall. Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Brass key. This key is pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where.